Hi, Lila. It's your dad. Uh, I have an article here from New Scientist called Flatworm Given Power to Regrow Its Head. And my internet is being super slow, so we'll see if I can scroll through it at a normal speed. If you can't keep your head when all about you are losing theirs, then why not grow a new one? Decapitated flatworms have had their genes tweaked so that they can regrow a head. Some flatworms are champions at regrowing body parts, but not all flatworm species have such a talent. Jochen Rink at the Max Planck Institute of Molecular Cell Biology and Genetics in Dresden, Germany, and his colleagues investigated what gives some flatworms regenerative properties. They discovered a network of genes controlling head regeneration that is essentially the same in all flatworm species, but different species express different levels of some genes. Tweaking the expression of just one gene in the network, beta catenin, in a flatworm species that can't usually regenerate allowed it to regrow a head. When we get a cut, there is a wound response that forms a scar, but in these animals, the wound response is translated into a regenerative response, says Aziz Abubakar at the University of Oxford. It's a funny name. Whether we can apply this to biomedical regeneration in humans is the next big question, he says. So there you go, kiddo. They're looking into how to make you be able to regrow limbs and fingers someday if you have an accident. It's pretty cool. All right. I love you. I'll talk to you later.